it was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. like a host of blinkers. On this day, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. My name is Sandile Kasa, living young in all location. I've been staying there 30 years from now, working as a tech rugby coach. I'm Melvin. They call me Pigs. I also stay here in Nyanga. My name is Vuyo. I stay here in Nyanga as well, old location. I work as an industrial relations supervisor. Hi, my name is Tembele Lumbini. I'm staying also here in Nyanga East. Uh, I'm working for Crossroads Soccer as a facilitator. I'm Tutus in Demande. I stay here also in old location, Nyanga East. Hi, my name is Lazola. I'm from here, also old location here in Nyanga. I stay here with my cousins. I can say that I am a sugar daddy on a way that uh, I do date some young girls at an early age of 18 years, 17 years, as I'm 30 years of age now. Uh, the thing is, uh, I normally waste my money to those little ones who are like so many things, like nails, making them hairs, to buy expensive clothes. I make everything for them. It's always younger people that you date because it's actually much easier to approach. And obviously the monetary value of things works better because you are the one who's a provider. They're always the youngsters. <coughs> we, we socialize in taverns, shippings, and they are always around us. So, and we tend to take advantage of them as well. I've been dating a 15 year old. <laughs> but I never had sex with her. With her, that's the thing. I only liked when she's asking for, for me so something I, I won't put for her. I'm gonna get just get a kiss. But when I'm drunk, I just say, okay, can you please come to my house? I said, no. My mommy is gonna do this and this. So I have to. To. I can say I am a sugar daddy. As I walk in the local schools, some of them girls, they want money. Some of them, they want to see me playing as their friends. That's what they can say about the younger girls. In most cases, they look for what you are going to benefit mm. from out of the relationship, mm. out of whatever kind of affair that you're having with them, you are going to have to provide something. Regardless, be it it's monetary, be it it's materialistic, whatever, but you will provide something. That to add what you're saying, Vuyo, most of the cases that are those little ones that are love to have fun with those older guys, they, they, they usually like to, to have fun with you. But the only thing that they want to you, it's sex. Look, one way that uh, you, 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 you can teach someone to make love with you. For instance, Lazola said something interesting earlier on that uh, he don't have sex with someone. He just uh, uh, kiss. Just kiss. But that kind of lady or that kind of girl, little girl, what she wants is to have sex, to experience something that she heard with some, to, someone, to someone else. We stand to undermine the, the law. With the law, it's statutory rape because these youngsters are young, very young, and they act as if they are old. If their parents should know, but my, most parents do know actually, but these these youngsters want to have to engage themselves early in sex. Do you know what? Sometimes they just get, they they just come to you and say, "Look here, I like you." That's the thing, they just come say I like you for you. So what what you gonna say say do not know it's like he loves me. So you are obviously you're gonna say, hey, Majita, you can please do this. I said obviously you're gonna talk to me like I'm still a child, but I have to take advantage of her. What is the consequence of this kind of thing that we do as an elders to the young little young ones, ladies? When you look at the chick, we like, like, like she's still young. The chick, let's say at the age of 15, like she's working there. She's like, hey, you're a kid. Yeah, I'm a kid. I'm a kid. 
So when what are the consequences when you say you pagi lamdam but still fifteen? Is to make love, but on which way? You can help it. You can help it. You can protect yourself. You can protect yourself. Yes. Thoughts. Yes. 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 Oh, you, you, you. When you see an older lady, you won't be interested. Yes. When you see a younger lady, you are interested. But the older your whole heart will be in, on him. The consequences in terms of uh, what would happen in terms of law are severe, because obviously. If there were steps that were to be taken, mm -hmm. one, you will be charged for rape. Mm -hmm. Two, you will be sentenced for that mm -hmm. in South Africa. Yes, for you. However, in the environment that you are living in, it's not happening like that because parents condone these things at times, and they turn a blind eye only because. They know what's to be, be what is it that is going to be benefited by the child, and secondly, it's the image. What kind of image this child, this child is going to portray within the community? Within the community, one is going out with a guy who's working, who's driving a car, mm. who's good money. She is safe, and besides that, she's safe in another way that she's not going to go out with the young boys because where we say it's very violent. Mm. So it's protected from that violence as well. So I think even the parents go and accept the fact that we're okay, fine, well, my child can go out with an elder because it's safer. Their mothers, sometimes they choose to have an older guy. These young kids are gangsters. They won't provide for their kids. Mm. So they choose to have an older guy so their mothers can have something from them. I do have a stable relationship on a way that when my wife, I can call him a wife, uh, is, is not next to me, I do make something that is not that kind of thing that I can say that they are Moshe. Understand? They are Moshe. Oh, something that can call the thing that uh, my relationship now is broke up. What I do with the little ones, the amba, on the way that um, my main main must know that I have a little one because I just want to have fun, to spend money, not to be stingy, to go with him to the movies, to buy him expensive shoe. Take him a manicures, to make him manicures, all of that things. I have a steady woman. Mm -hmm. I love her. Mm -hmm. Although she's, she's older than me, mm -hmm. I respect her a lot. And she's so calm, but when it comes, when I'm drunk, I can say when I'm drunk, I can even like sit down. When she's not here, I can even like say, look here, I'm gonna take that chick today. The shit hits the fan at times. And when that happens, Either you have the relationship or you don't. Because obviously the stable one is gonna wreck. Because none of the elders wants to date a person who's dating a younger, a younger kid. Because one, they feel as if we are disrespecting to them, with the younger ones. And two, we don't, we are being irresponsible as men. So they are like, okay, fine, you do this, you are dead. Unless your relationship, at the end of the day, you know it's safe in your own way, however you treat it. But it's dangerous, I don't want to lie. This is a very dangerous game. Sometimes it's vice versa. We old, we getting a 15 year old. So when she's on top of you, she can do anything. When the younger one, Let's say the, the young boy is on oh, top of the old woman, she, she's doing, he's doing the same thing. Mm. So it's a vice versa thing. So you can't compete, we can't say, we, even I can like, let's say I can have like, like one round now, I'm gonna sleep. She's gonna say, Buddy, I don't want to sleep. I, 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 see, I didn't come here to sleep. I didn't come here to sleep. If you know what I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's a vice versa thing. Mm -hmm. Because you know, you can even date the, the older one. If I'm going to sleep with her now, I'm going to just get one round, I'm going to sleep, I'm tired.
And when you get a small one test, it's gonna do the everything what you want. My sister came. She, she, she. I'm from the Eastern Cape, basically. So she came to study in Cape Town, and she went back, and then she's coming back now to work in Cape Town. She's still very young. So I took her to where we sit, and each and every other guy who was there. You just, you, you just was having their tongues out like this. I got WhatsApp messages from everybody, and I was like, it's no. never gonna happen. No. Have we all? <laughs> no. <laughs> My daughter is getting 16 this year, mm. October 28th. And, and she's so hot. She's so hot. She's, she's busy. She's busy. Sexually active. She's, she's, she's sexually she's, active. And there's a tavern there, and she's always amongst us and all that. 90% of this happens when we are drunk. Mm. So the precaution is the last thing that you think of. Yeah. Unless you had condoms in your room, or you, you, or you were prepared for that. Mm. That it's different when you do it the first day and you do it with a condom, but if it happens and... It happens, it happens then. Let's say if you get it from like a shipping, obviously you're not going to use the condom. You can say, she's going to say, hey, so, so, it's my first time. Okay, it's the so first that, time. So I'm going to show you how to do it. They say, look here, you're going to look for the condom. You're pretending like you do have condoms in your room, but you don't even have it. Like you're going to say, ah, I'm checking on it now. now. Okay, says, ah, so you go, okay, baby, what are you going to do now? I said, okay, okay, let's try. Mm -hmm. I don't want to lie to you. I never used condom. <laughs> but when I wanted you, like almost like months and stuff like that. You're hungry. Mm. You're hungry. When I catch you, I'm, I must, make my, must I go look for condoms if I don't have in my room? <laughs> I don't the moment they start sucking you. You've already believed that they are clean. <laughs> in the morning. In the morning. So, so when you're sleeping, are you thinking, fuck, I didn't even use a condom? Like, say, yes. I wonder where she's been, the person's I'm doing in the barn, when, what? So you're still like, bring Sometimes you have one condom, you're going to use that one condom. After that, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You have your relationship with an elder girl and you go on, you stop using condoms or you don't use, you use condoms first day and then you stop. The moment you try to use another condom or you see, we start seeing condoms in the house, it's gonna break that trust. So that's why we don't keep condoms at home. Because you break the trust completely because I'm, she's gonna ask, what is the condom doing at home if we don't use condoms? So you can't have a condom at home. So it's ninety percent of the time. If it's not planned before, there won't be a condom. I know I, I'm negative. I do go. The last time I went. The last time we went with, with, with him. Up next to my by my. He ran away. My yeah, penis. Yeah, yeah. He, he did. Was, he you know, was scared be, because I know that they are more sharp. <laughs> so I everyone, sleep. Everyone is around. Out. Everyone is doing the everyone same thing. It's all about you know you say it as a nature. Out a corner. I don't know my status, but I really want to know what is my status. Am I positive or am I negative? But I can see my health is healthy. <laughs> you see, I was frightened, but the results came. Watch. We are mm -hmm. seriously risking mm -hmm. our lives, not using condoms and all that. Hey, we're playing with fire. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, oh, we, okay. we must all know that. We play with fire because okay. it is something that's there. My dream is, uh, to be honest, is to be a photograph journalist. I'm living my dream now because I'm doing what I like in, when I was young. To be a coach, I'm coaching the kids. My dream is to get, my, to get a family and stay with my children and my wife. My dream is to change what we've been discussing here because at the end of the day, the consequences and uh, the prevailing things that come out of what is happening and what we are doing can be very detrimental and dangerous. My dream is to become, to be an entrepreneur, to educate. My dream is 
to have a wife, kids, and teach the others how to change and teach the younger kids that we are coaching how to to be a grown man and how to be a grown woman, how to choose what you're doing in life.